Uh, we were entirely manual, so our performance reporting was uh, done on disparate spreadsheets. Uh, we had uh, several different types of report, Word reports, Excel reports. Um, there was no uh, comprehensive view of performance management. It was uh, station managers were having six or seven emails per day, telling them to look at one system for their sickness data, telling them to look at another system for their other bits and pieces that they needed to see. Um, so uh, it was basically really hidden. The information was hidden, wasn't really visible to the organisation, and we knew we just needed to do something differently. Because it was the best product out there. Um, basically, we went through. Uh, several uh, business cases and we had, um, I think we had three attempts uh, at, at our service to actually get performance management system in for various reasons. There was an IT freeze uh, I think on the second attempt. So on the third attempt, third time lucky, we had a number of um, software suppliers in and uh, Inphase still remained the best out of all the ones that we'd seen previously as well. So we'd, we'd seen Inphase on the other two attempts when we'd gone out to tender for a performance management system. Uh, and by that time actually, by the third time around, the development of Inphase was so much greater. So I wasn't just buying a business intelligence system, I was also buying projects. Um, we're on the start of our journey within phase, so we're building the business intelligence uh, side of it where we're getting all our existing performance indicators and our existing performance reports available instantly for people to see. So we're building the, uh, the structure of the reporting uh, side of it so that uh, we report against our purpose and commitments and then we will look at extending that into departments as well. Um, and then over the next, I think, I reckon between 12 to 18 months, we will, uh, the next journey will be uh, corporate planning, service plan, team plans, action plans. We'll then look at projects uh, in terms of getting our activities and our projects linked to our service plans. And then fine, well not finally, it might all be at the same time, but I've sort of got it in my head that we're going to do it stage by stage. We'll be looking at risk. And from some of the information that I've seen today about the finance aspect of it and other services, um, integrating with their SAP systems, then that's a really uh, big bonus for me in terms of the information that I've seen today and I think that we will that will be our fifth part of the project if you like. But I, I reckon between now and 18 months time we will have um, a, a fully functioning integrated system so it will be our planning, it will be our performance, it will be our risk and it will be our uh, intelligence that will be on there I think with between 12 and 18 months. Uh, at the moment, because we because we we always report a month in arrears, uh, so or, and, or at um, corporate level, it's three months. We, we report quarterly, so so at the minute we've we've connected to uh, two of our major source systems. So we've got all our fire data that is just available instantaneously. Uh, so we've just so you can just click on it and you can see uh, the number of fires where they're happening. Um, immediately it's thrown up issues around data quality so we're able to put those right straight away whereas before they'd be hidden and it'd be after 12 months we might do an audit of the system and find out that we had issues. But instantly you can see sort of where the fires are happening, what types they are, how quickly did we get there. Um, so it's just really brought that information to life on uh, 24 hours after we've actually actually been to the incident. It's the information is there for me and I just consider that to be a little bit of magic. It appears before us whereas before we'd have to trawl through different systems, we'd have to look at, if we wanted to look at HR data we'd have to log on to their HR system so it's, so it's, so it's just instant information which is already uh, giving benefits to the organisation and it just will only improve as we go forward. Um, well, the, uh, absolutely, because part of the implementation, what I wanted to achieve first was to make sure that our standard uh, corporate performance reports were done initially uh, as part of the rollout so that actually we could then spend time developing the rest of the system because we we don't we're only even reporting just I'd say about 10% of the information that exists out there uh, and actually uh, so I need I need my team to be uh, just be able to to instantly hit a button and those reports will be available so then we can actually get into the real intelligence rather than just keep reporting the top level indicators we need to start doing some really clever stuff with putting budgets in against performance uh, all that sort of really good stuff that we're not actually doing so we get the insight that we need because at the moment we just we get top line figures and we go oh that's great we don't really understand if it's good or bad we don't understand why there's been more fires this month than last month and actually by making sure that the teams have got the the the, the manual processes are, are are all sorted out so that's that's that, that's done within a click of a button we can now do more of the analysis that we need to do to actually really understand what's going on in the communities and why they're having the type of fires that they're having